Welcome back everybody to another Code Peterson tutorial. We are working on our second Game Boy game for GB Studio, which is a top-down Zelda style game. In the last tutorial slash explanation video, we went over the image sprites that we're using for this project. For this one, we're going to start using those tile graphics that we made, those 8x8 pixel-sized background images uh, that we're going to use to build our actual level designs. I am using this program called Tiled. It's free and you can find it online and download it yourself for this or you can use any other kind of tile map software that you would like. Uh, I went to create a new project and I am putting this in my Thor assets folder that I have created on here. I'll call this one Thor Level Project. And I'll click Save on there. Once I have that project on there, then I can go here to a new map. And for this one, what I'm going to do for this demonstration, you can make yours kind of whatever size you want. I'm going to make mine the minimum size which it shows you on the GB Studios website, or if you search for GB Studio uh, backgrounds, it shows on here 160 pixels by 144 pixels is the smallest size you can use. Uh, so over here where we have this project, the first thing I need to do is define my tile size. The tile size we're using is eight by eight. It's the size we had to make for those shows you that on here too for size requirements. Uh, then all I need to do for this map size is I can adjust this for the width. I'll bring this down until it says 160 pixels wide. So here it shows you the tiles, it's 20 tiles. Down here it says 160 pixels wide. And then the height, I want it to be 144 tall. So I'll lower that to 18. Now I have my 160 by 144 sizes for that. Uh, then I can click OK. And I have my little area here. Now the next thing I need to do is bring in my tile images that I created from Piskel. I exported those as PNG files. Go in here to new tile set, and I'll just call this Thor tiles. And it asks me where the source is. And if you remember in the last tutorial, I called that file tiles. Click save as. And then you'll notice here it opens it up in a new tab. But if I go back over into this tab, I have my tiles down there. I can kind of see everything. If I hold down the control button and scroll with my mouse wheel, I can find everything in there. Uh, this right here, this is my first kind of level on here. So I'm going to go file and save as. And what I'm doing here is I'm saving my tile map. And I'll call this one main, maybe I'll call it main level. But I'm putting it all as one word, all lowercase. And up here it names that tab for me. All right, so what I want to do is select what I want for my ground tile. And then I can go up here to my paint bucket tool and I can paint that in. And then I can find my uh, stamp tool. And here's where that we have this, this kind of grass here. Let's put some sprites in here so it is not just a plain regular type of uh, light color on there. Gives us more to look at. 
the next thing I want to do is I want to create basically my border around this. Uh, so I have these bricks, and again, we'll see how these look. I'll try this one right here first. And I think I do want these to be 16 by 16. That does look pretty good, I think, as as is with that on there. Uh, but I'm going to have this go all the way around for right now. All right, and here is our kind of the basis of our first level. Now, uh, I'm going to have a number of these that are that are actually kind of similar, but uh, this is kind of the, my main area. And what I want to do here is have like a little, almost like a cave entrance on here. So I'll put that there like that. I think that works good. Um, I also want to do a similar type of cave entrance down here. And over to the right, I think I want just a plain entrance like that. And then on this other side, we have these key tiles that I made. And up here, we can actually rotate these. I'm going to put key there. Then I want to mirror that. And I'll choose my other one. And I'm going to rotate this. Put it there. And then I will mirror that one. And that's it's supposed to be a keyhole. So I probably could go back and re-edit that a little bit later if I need to. But for right now, I think that'll work fine for this. All right, so this is our first level. Go file save, looks good. And then I need to go up and make a new map. And this is gonna be the same size, so I don't really need to change anything. Eight by eight, 20 by 18. 160 by 144. And this is going to be the one up from the main area going north, if we're looking at it down as a map, so to speak. Uh, and this is going to be where Odin is. So I'm going to call this Odin level. Save. And this one, since it's in kind of a, a cave, put some rocks in here. That looks good. Save this. And we have this level. We have our main level, so that's where that is. Now I want to make one over here to the right. I'm going to File, New, and New Map. Same size. I'll go File, Save As. This is going to be a map that has a key. So I will type in key level. And we have our key level done. All right, then the next one we have is going to have some enemies in this one. So maybe uh, we can call this one file a new, new map, and OK. And we'll go to File, Save As. And this one will be Enemy Level. All right, that looks good. We'll go File and Save. Go back over. 
And then we just have our last one on here that we need, and this is for our boss level. File new, new map set. Okay, file save as. Call this one boss level save. And I just want to make sure that these are all kind of consistent. So over here, I need to actually fix that up. That looks a little better. I think that's all right. Okay, so these are our projects. So I think we're set with all those pixels. Last thing we need to do with these is each one we need to go to file and export as image. And we want to make sure that it's going to our Thor assets folder. Main level, yep. And export. And if I look in here, then I should have a main level. And I do. Awesome. Okay. So then going over to Odin level, same thing. Export as image. Export. Key level. File. Export as image. To the enemy level. And go to boss level. Export as image. Export. And we have all of our levels created. And that's it for this tutorial. In our next one, we'll now start bringing all these assets into GB Studios and start building our levels.